Okay, I'm going to give you the easiest way to understand and figure out how is your external drive formatted, is it the right format for what you're needing, and will it be able to do what I need it to do. So in this case, I'm using a MacBook Pro. Doesn't matter what model, doesn't matter what year. As long as you're using a Mac in this instance, you're good to go. On Windows, this won't even apply because if it doesn't recognize the drive, it won't read it anyway. If you're using a Mac, you can read pretty much any kind of external drive, but in order to read and write, you need something like Tuxera, which allows you to read and write to NTFS drives. I'm gonna plug in my external drive. It's gonna show up over here, letting you know that it is connected and reading. This external drive is formatted NTFS, but if you don't have Tuxera installed, it will not write, but it will let you read it. So if you're having trouble with information staying in your songs or in your crates, this might be why. So, there's your external hard drive. We're going to come up here to go. We're going to come down to utilities. And we're going to look for disk utility. Now within disk utility you'll see your external drive listed here and of course your internal drive or drives depending on how it's partitioned or if you have multiple drives. In this case, we just need the external. The internal is formatted APFS, not important in this case. So if you're telling somebody APFS is the format of your external, you're looking in the wrong place. We need to look at external. Now some people may be confused when you're looking at your storage and it says internal storage is here. You can also see the external storage, but it doesn't show you what it's formatted. So it's not helpful in this situation. We come down here to the external and click on it. And this is going to tell you Windows NT file system Tuxera NTFS. Now, again, because I'm using Tuxera, this is reading and it's allowing me to write to it as well. If it's formatted EXFAT or FAT32, then you're good to go. You can use it between Windows and Mac. But if you're looking for faster reads and writes, larger transfer of files if you're backing up your hard drives, Windows NTFS is pretty much the best that you can use. If you're coming from PC to a Mac and you want to keep your hard drive and not reformat it, Tuxera is a very simple option. Whatever it says here is what your drive is formatted. Let's open up Serato and let's say we want to write a comment or we want to update the BPM. All we need to do is make that change within Serato and everything works perfectly. If you're using NTFS on a Mac and you do not have something like Tuxera installed, you may have an issue where when you reopen Serato, all of your changes have disappeared. Loading song database, and then all of my crates will show up in a moment. Here comes my crates. One thing to speed up your loading of Serato, come in here and you want to turn off show iTunes library. If you don't need the iTunes library, turn it off. If you are using iTunes to organize your library, check out my other video on how to organize all of your music using Serato and iTunes, but how to copy all of your playlists over. So, let's come in here, let's just find comment section, and I want to use this for entrance. Now if you look down in the bottom, it's writing the tags. This will pop up, but when you close Serato and open it back up again, those tags will disappear if you're unable to write to the drive. And this is exactly why it's important to know what your external drive is formatted, because in the situation where you have an NTFS drive and you're using it with a Mac, yes, you can read the songs, yes, you'll be able to play music, you won't be able to write any of the information such as the play count, you won't be able to write comments and keep them. So it's very important if you're setting up your music ahead of time for a gig that you're having later in the evening or later on in the week to be able to write to that drive. So finally, we're going to reopen it. And then once the crates are loaded, we'll see the comment is still there. So you can actually use NTFS with Mac. It will read and write. And there's no slowdowns. Entrance. So there you have it. One last bit of advice, always back up. You want to make sure that your Serato database is backed up in case you do end up deleting something accidentally or if it gets corrupted.
So if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Make sure you like, subscribe, and as always, please consider sharing. I read every comment. I always try to come in there and leave a reply if you ever have any questions. And of course, if you have any recommendations for future videos, please feel free to leave those down below as well.